Hi, I am a human being of planet Earth, and chances are you're also a human being of planet Earth. We just received some news, and unfortunately, it turns out we're not doing so great. These are known as the burning embers. It's a colored warning system that scientists have used for over 20 years to show how risks and impacts increase as the planet is getting hotter. The color red means high risks, purple means very high risks. And here's the news. These colors are now turning red and purple earlier than we expected. So we will hit the high risks and very high risks even with lower warming. That's where we are now, and that's where we're heading with current action. Look at this one. It shows the state of the coral reefs that are home to more than a fourth of all marine life and provide food, income, and shoreline protection to coastal communities all around the world. And we're already approaching the purple, very high-risk zone. That means they're practically already fucked. If we did everything we could to cut pollution right now, we might be able to save some coral. But we're not even trying. And it's not just the corals. Look at where we're heading with biodiversity loss tree mortality, wildfire increase, weather extremes, high and very high risks. Extreme climate events have already been observed in all inhabited regions, many way worse than ever before. And it wasn't supposed to be this bad already. The effects from climate change have come earlier, more widespread and with worse consequences than predicted. Ecosystems on land and in the oceans all around the world have changed. And we have all felt it. No matter where we're from, we all have a feeling that things aren't like they used to be, that something is very, very wrong. This is our shared experience. We've already started to witness some extreme events that weren't supposed to happen for another 80 years. The Greenland ice sheet is now losing ice seven times faster than it did when I was in high school. At two degrees warming and beyond, where we're heading fast, everything will become much worse. Just think of the wildfires that we're already seeing around the world in Australia, California, Siberia, and the Amazon, not to mention the less reported but way more deadly wildfires we're seeing in Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia. And this is one of the main takeaway messages from this report. Climate change isn't fair. Deaths from floods, drought, and storms have been up to 15 times higher in more vulnerable countries compared to countries like mine in the last decade. 15 times more deaths and these are the people who are the least responsible for the crisis to begin with. So what's the plan? Where's the action? We have just witnessed what our governments are actually capable of during the battle against COVID-19. Borders shut down, travel bans, lockdowns. Do we see that kind of action on the climate crisis? No. Instead, the world's governments spent at least an outrageous $370 billion of COVID recovery funds on the fossil fuel industry, the very industry that is the most responsible for the climate crisis. And it's not like they don't know. In fact, these news are coming from the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, a United Nations body providing facts directly to all governments, line by line from the world's leading scientists. So where's the action? The agreed global goal is to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's where we could avoid the worst effects. But when the world's top scientists were asked recently about how they think we're doing, most of them said we'll likely hit three degrees. And eight out of 10 of them said they'll live to see catastrophic impacts in their lifetime. That's our lifetime. Not to mention what our children and grandchildren would have to witness. And hey, for millions of people around the world, the catastrophe is already here. So where's the action? And the answer is easy. Our governments aren't going to act until they're forced by the people. And that's why we must keep talking about this. We must keep showing we care and that we expect action right now. Governments must stop doing just a little better and start doing enough. We must demand that they listen to the science and act accordingly. So what does the science suggest? First of all, we must break our dependence on fossil fuels. No more coal, oil, and gas. We must protect at least 30% of all ecosystems on land and in the oceans to give them a better chance to recover, to secure biodiversity, and to start letting the planet heal itself. And very importantly, we need justice and solidarity. 
Those who have polluted the most must be held accountable to protect those who are hit the hardest, full stop. We need a strong international legal framework to hold corporations and governments accountable for their damage and exploitation. Now, these are some of the actions we can demand from our governments. We are human beings of planet Earth. This is our planet, our home. We will protect it.